Do you guys recognize this thing? It's the Chinese mini excavator that thousands and thousands of you thought would be dead by now. So we're going to call this the uh, 100 day review. Uh, it probably has 100 hours on it and they are hard work hours. So a friend of mine has a plumbing company and he bought this thing because he needed something small. It normally takes two guys eight hours to hand dig a ground rough for a home around here through the minus gravel in the basement. With this thing, it takes him three man hours. It's been on several jobs at this point. So it's over halfway paid for itself in time saving. Hasn't been a single issue with it. And he put on some pretty kick ass lights. So when you turn <laughs> these two lights on and this light on, it's, it's like daylight around here. So that's pretty cool. But if you'll take a look at this, it still runs. Wow, how about that? Pretty cool. So just wanted to show you guys that it is alive, um, no issues, and it gets used. Zach, what all do you, have you been happy with it? Does it do the job? I, I like it. It couldn't couldn't be better for what I do. Um, digging the ground roughs, it uh, it does really well. And the, never is there any light in the basement, and the lights definitely help out. You can see everything glows it up. And uh, so, would you rather have a twenty four thousand Yanmar with a little diesel that can't even outperform this thing, or are you happy spending less than a third of the cost and going with this? Well, I have no complaints with it about one hour of run time she'll uh kick on the seat warmer and start warming you <laughs> yeah, up <laughs> the seat does get warm <laughs> but the seat uh, definitely gets that, warm other than that um it's it's a great machine and i consider i've already got a fourth of it paid for and another couple jobs i've only done three jobs with it so another you know nine jobs i feel like it already paid for itself yeah that's good. I'm not saying like if you're using it to dig all day every day and you want something that's going to last a couple thousand hours, is this it? No. But for somebody like in his situation, when you're just kind of cleaning up some sticks and doing a little bit of clearing around the house and trenching in some downspouts and doing some digging like that, I probably if I was using it 8 hours a day every single day and I was getting paid for it, obviously you'd get a better, more expensive machine. But for what it's used for and the fact that it's maybe only used a, a couple days a week, a couple days every other week, cost of ownership is still way cheaper than a rental. You can have it on site, and it just makes sense in that aspect. You know, and for someone that, for someone that can't afford to just go out and buy a $20,000 piece of equipment and need a loan or something, if you can afford, you know, eight grand for this thing, you know, it's just... It saves it, especially if anyone knows how plumbing companies are. They're everyone's slam busy with work. You know, you you need the man hours other places, and if you can save them with the ground roughs, it's it's well worth it. Right, because you're not really making a whole lot of money on the digging the trench. You're making the money on putting the pipe in. Right. So every hour you spend digging the trench and, to lay the pipe is money lost. You can't justify <laughs> sometimes having just a guy that comes around and just digs ground roughs for you. You gotta you know make the plumbers do it and when that's the case if they're not plumbing and they're doing technically what you consider labor work it's it's hard paying those wages there whenever you can save them yeah put them somewhere else 100 percent. so we're gonna run these things around we brought the magna track out as well so uh basically just for shits and gigs and he wanted to see it and i kind of wanted to do a follow-up on the chinese mini excavator anyway because a lot of you thought this thing was going to die so to all of you that thought this thing was just gonna die and whatever else and it wasn't going to make it uh i have a finger that i'm holding up you can imagine what it is that one is for you <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna set up some time lapse here and just mess around and see what these two little things can do cleaning up some brush around here so let's get after it
So as you guys can see, the Chinese mini excavator is alive and well. And, you know, for what it's being used for, everyone's be like, oh, that's not real work. That's not real work. Like, yeah, I get it. But if you don't have like a bigger mini excavator, if you don't have a skid steer at your house, are you going to be grubbing this stuff up out of the ground, stump included, clearing underbrush like this and being able to stack it in a pile? Can you do what we just did by hand in, I think that was only like 25 minutes. So probably would have taken 45 minutes to an hour with one machine. Can you or are you going to do that by hand? absolutely not you're i mean you're going to be taking entire weekends or afternoons or days to be able to do that so for the money invested i think you're getting a lot of stuff done now i base this off of you know me i have dozers i have big excavators i have multiple skid steers so this is more like a like a hobby for me just because i love equipment and i think this stuff it, it's just it's fun isn't it fun? It's just fun like little stuff like this and just piddling around and doing this it's just fun it doesn't feel like work like you're actually getting something done but hang out with a buddy have a couple beers mess around on some like weird little equipment you know it's just fun but all in all i mean do these machines do what they are intended to do? I would say absolutely. There's no false advertising on either side. Has the Chinese mini excavator proven to be reliable and robust? And I'd say borderline dangerous because it has absolutely no safety features. And the hydraulic power that it has is way too much for its size. And it has more swing torque than excavators two and a half times its size. Is that dangerous? absolutely do i like the fact that it's dangerous absolutely because it's going to weed the stupid ones out real quick and it almost got me so you'll have that <laughs> but the magna track if you have a little property is it worth the money so here's where i get hung up this package right here as advertised in today's money is about eighteen thousand dollars now they have some inflation buster deals right now and free shipping and a free attachment or whatever realistically could you be getting something like this for around fifteen and a half sixteen thousand probably do i feel like it is worth that money that is a great question. I hear on the newer ones, they have backhoe style controls. That definitely adds some value so you're not having to learn the stupid piano keys. But is it worth that kind of money for a machine this size? You can get something like this for, yeah, 8,500 to nine, well, 8500 if you don't have all the damn storage fees like I did because the port had the wrong phone number and email for me. So if you take away the fees, $8,500, you are getting this to your front door. You're spending twice as much on this. Now, what are you gaining? The, the ability to scoop material and move it further distances with this machine, I would say, is a definite advantage like digging that little pond okay great however for the same cost of this you can get instead of a 2,000 pound mini excavator you could get a 5,000 pound mini excavator probably with a hydraulic thumb with a diesel engine <sighs> the magnetrack has the cool factor it has the one machine does everything but a 5,000 pound diesel powered mini excavator with a hydraulic thumb compared to this, what can actually do more work for the same price? I'm gonna go with mini excavator. 
But if you're not good on a mini excavator and you need to do a multitude of tasks and you're actually trying to utilize the attachments such as the ripper or putting a pulling a tiller behind it or doing a garden, then what? this takes the cake. It, if, it's hard to decide. If you're gonna, I mean, I've seen something similar to this without the backhoe attachment, like pushing snow. Like, and it's actually fairly useful, you know, with the little blade like that. Yeah, push, you're not pushing I mean, you're snow pushing with a mini excavator. Or something, I mean, you're not going to be able to do that. I mean, if that's what you're looking for. Yeah, you're not going to be able to push snow with a mini excavator. It's just not how they're designed. But then I think about, you can do a lot of the mini excavator. You can grade, you can move material, but you're limited. The material you're moving if you only want to touch it once, you're limited to how far the thing can swing around. And I'd say the tracking speed's a little faster. Yeah, the tracking speed is a little bit faster. So with that front scoop attachment, it's hard to say. With this, you're going to have to touch it twice. With this, you're not moving as much, but you can move it further. Does it equate to savings in the long run over material moved? That's a good question. I think that'd make a good video in the future. But, uh, yeah, no, that was fun. And I think we're going to do a six-month update on this mini excavator. We're going to do a one-year update on this mini excavator. You guys aren't going to believe how long this POS, you know, pile of junk, whatever everybody's called it in the comments, I think it is going to last on for a long time. And then this thing is just, it's just downright cool. I mean, how many people have a tracked mini backhoe like this? Come on. This has got the cool factor. This has got the impressive that it's doing as well as it does factor. So to get them both together and do a little video, that was super cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.